Bobsled is one of the fastest, most exciting, and most dangerous sports in the Olympic Winter Games. Reaching speeds close to 100 miles per hour, these two and four person sleds roar down an icy track complete with sharp turns and spectacular straightaways. I just couldn't believe that that sport was that rough and that loud. It's, it's controlled violence. What may seem to be just a chaotic joyride is actually the product of meticulous research and design from top engineers who strive to make sleds faster and track safer. Let's take a look at the top bumper radius. Michael Scully is the creative director of global design at BMW Design Works USA in Newberry Park, California, and the lead designer of Team USA's new two-man bobsled. His goal? To help the U.S. win gold in the two-man event for the first time since 1936. Using a sleek, innovative design and cutting-edge technology, this new sled reduces drag, the force that resists the sled's movement down the track optimizing aerodynamics to create the next step in bobsled engineering. We hope that this is the best tool available to them. People have invested their lives in these careers and making these achievements hopefully in the form of an Olympic medal is something that we take very seriously. One of the biggest challenges for designers is the rules regarding the weight of the bobsled. The International Bobsleigh and Skeleton Federation requires that a two-man bobsled weigh no less than 374 pounds when empty and 860 pounds with crew and equipment. To make a faster sled, but stay within the weight restrictions, Scully utilized his prior experience as a race car designer, incorporating lightweight materials such as carbon fiber and Kevlar, and fashioning them into a sleeker and more aerodynamic sled. The overall approach is a bit different. Absolutely minimized uh, frontal area, as well as cross-sectional area throughout the form. That's something that we've put a large emphasis on. What makes the BMW sled so much different aesthetically is the carbon fiber cowling. It's very, very sleek and every measurement, every detail is Michael Scully's brainchild. Once the sled is pushed from the starting line, gravity is the only force causing it to accelerate down the track. Therefore, it is crucial that any force that might slow down the sled be minimized. You need to consider all of the, the different contexts that the sled will encounter down the run, which there are a lot of them. A bobsled does not travel in a straight line. Instead, it bounces and bobs. Any contact that the sled has with the side of the track will cause it to slow down. By distributing the weight in strategic parts of the sled, Scully was able to keep it more stable. The ability to tune the weight balance either forward or back or sideways is something that is a new capability for the U.S. team. This is really interesting conceptually. That Once Scully and his team decided on the final design, a three-dimensional model was created for further testing. Tweaked and perfected through both virtual and physical wind tunnel tests, a prototype was then constructed and tested on a track with the athletes. We took it down and it was, it was a pretty good sled. It came out of the box pretty fast and uh, I think it was pretty motivating. With sleds like the BMW two-man bobsled getting faster, another concern for designers and engineers is the safety of the track itself. Dr. Mont Hubbard is a professor emeritus in mechanical engineering at the University of California, Davis, and has been funded by the National Science Foundation. I think what contributes to them being especially treacherous is a lack of understanding of this motion on a surface and how the surface can interact with the object to eject the object from the track. On every bobsled track, there is a section of the surface called the fillet, a small circular rounding at the point where the vertical wall and horizontal wall of the track connect. The fillet works to keep sleds in line on the straightaways, but in the curves of the track, Hubbard believes it can cause a problem. If you're going in that direction, the track can go away from you and all of a sudden there's no track there to support you anymore. And then, if at that moment when you leave the track, you have enough velocity, to fly past the rest of the track, then you've been ejected. Hubbard proposes that removing the fillet from the curves of the track could help prevent athletes from being ejected or thrown from the sled when it goes too fast around the curvature. If the fillets are gone, then 
I don't think ejection from the track can happen. Though Hubbard's research won't influence the track design for the Sochi Games, new engineering endeavors like his represent increasing advances in bobsled track safety, which may be necessary if designers like Scully continue to push the sport of bobsled down the fast track.